Hey guys, Michael Sanchez, violin teacher here and fiddle teacher. I'm the author of the book Fiddle for Dummies, and I'm going to be teaching you guys a seven-part series on how to play the fiddle. So just so you guys know, the violin and the fiddle are the same exact instrument that only differ in how it's played. So violin can be played like this. It also can be played like this. So same instrument, just different way you play it. So uh, you guys were really interested on the um, fiddle, what was, what was it called, our group name, uh, Fiddling on the Roof page, and learning sort of the basics of how to play the fiddle. So I wanted just to start today by covering some very basics that are going to get you guys started to learn how to play the fiddle. So basically the biggest thing that I first start teaching is sliding. So sliding is very unique to the fiddle in that you take a note that you normally would just play straight without actually moving the finger. And instead, you actually slide into the note. So here's a C sharp on the A string. If you were to play that with classical violin, it just would be played like that. But if you're playing fiddle, it very well might sound more like this. Like that. And it just is basically me taking my finger and sort of sliding it into the note. So let's learn our first fiddle tune uh, related to maybe doing some slides. I'm going to teach you guys a basic tune. So Boiling Cabbage Down starts on that same note that I just showed you guys, that C sharp. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide into it. And then what I'm going to do right after that is play a D. And I could very well might also slide into that. So it's going to be basically sliding between C sharp on the A string and D on the A string. So it's going to sound like this. Last note I just played there was a B. So I play basically one of three notes there. I played either C sharp, D, or B. One, two, or three on the A string. So as far as uh, maybe how to do that slide with the uh, D, what you can do is after you play that slide, you can sort of replace the two and sort of slide up. So it's going to be look like this. It's going to be bum, and then replace bum. Bum 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 Okay? Now if you know a little bit about playing fiddle and you maybe even done some double stops in classical, like maybe you're someone that's been playing violin a while and just sort of wanting to maybe do some fiddle stuff, what you guys can do is what's called droning. And what that basically is, is as I'm doing what I just showed you, I'm going to also play on the E string. Now what's really important when I do this is that I don't let my finger that I'm placing on the A string touch the E string, otherwise you're going to get an extremely nasty, squirrel sounding, uh, I don't even know how else to explain it, cat noise. Um, you'll know it when you hear it. So what you want to do is, is sort of instead of like placing your fingers on the A string right on it, try to aim more towards the D string. And that's what I call tunneling. That's going to help you not hit that E string, which is going to sound horrible. So you can definitely use your finger more towards the other string. So it's going to sound like this if we do uh, what's called a drone. Now, uh, one maybe a little bit even more advanced thing you could do to that, and when you have the third finger on the A string with the open E, instead of playing that with open E, you can play it with the first finger on the E string while playing the D, and that's going to sound maybe a little bit better um, as it's going to be it's going to be either this, which sort of clashes, or and what you can do is slide into both of those, so it sounds like this. So and if I take it a little bit faster yet, yeah, that's the kind of the next step to improving the fiddle tune. So if I put in all these things together, the droning, the, um, the first finger on the E string, and the speed, uh, which you guys eventually can learn, it's going to sound like this. And next 
next time we're going to learn what's called the tag, which sounds like this. Different ways to play that. So thank you so much for watching. Um, day two of this series, we're going to be covering the tag and also another uh, few tips on how to play the fiddle. Thanks you so much for watching. Have a great day and God bless.